हेलो फ्रेंड्स लास्ट क्लास आई हैव स्टार्टेड सम यूज केसेस इन आई यूज केसेस ऑफ आईओटी इन द हेल्थ केयर ओके सो सम मोर यूज केसेस आर देयर दैट आई विल डिस्कस टुडे ओके सो फर्स्ट इज द डिप्रेशन एंड मूड स्विंग मॉनिटरिंग system okay so uh, depression and mood swing monitoring system by using this one what we can do so by using this one uh, normally suppose uh, if we, uh, one person is there so not uh, the doctor cannot easily determine what is the um, uh, current uh, depression symptom and uh, what is the mood swing uh, things is there in, in that particular person okay it is very difficult to understand what is what the person is doing what the person is telling to someone it is very difficult to understand okay so uh, it is one one can kind of the difficult task for a for a doctor okay to determine the symptom of the uh, depression and the mood swing uh, thing okay so now there is a one device which can be connected so one um, depression symptom depression detector depression detector uh, device uh, iot device okay iot enable uh, iot enable depression detector device is there so by using this one uh, what we can do that could, that should be connected to the uh, human which has mood swing okay so now uh, whatever mood swing is there what is what is what is the symptom okay what is the symptom of the depression that can be depression and the mood swing both can be okay this both can be detected okay this both can be detected by in the form of the uh, heart rate heart rate and the blood pressure in the form of the heart rate and by blood pressure we can uh, detect the person's depression and the mood swing okay so the data that is collected the data that is collected that will be in the form of the um, heart rate and the in the form of the heart rate and the uh, blood pressure okay so uh, by using this heart rate and blood pressure we can detect the uh, depression and the mood swing thing okay so these two information that will be transferred to the doctor okay these two information that will be transferred to the doctor and they can analyze oh uh, right so person's uh, movement and person's eye movement okay eye movement and the, their movement of the hand and legs they, by uh, based on this thing so the motion detector can de uh, sense those thing okay movement of the eye movement of the hand and based on the movement of the eye and the hand and leg so doctor also can they understand their depression level and their, their mood swing thing okay so uh, this are about the depression and mood swing uh, monitoring system okay next come to the okay. next come to the uh, trackable in and out okay second is the trackable second is the Uh, trackable inhaler okay so by using the trackable inhaler okay so what is the mean so suppose any um, one person uh, will be experienced to cause a asthma attack okay to the person experience asthma attack okay that can thing can be detected by the trackable inhaler so when the person will experience uh, will experience the asthma matter that can be detected by the trackable inhaler okay so the same information this information will be um, pass okay to the doctor or physician okay 
the same information will pass to the doctor or physician okay so pass the information by using the trackable analyzer you can the same information will be passed to the doctor or it can also monitor okay why the asthma in the why the inhaler is required okay the person which will experience the asthma attack that shell thing can be detected by the trackable inhaler okay and next is the, the the same information will be passed to the doctor so that the doctor can uh, provide a proper medication and so when the inhaler is required that information also can be monitored by the trackable inhaler for a particular person okay so uh, next is the third one is the robotic surgery okay uh, in case of the robotic surgery what is normal is to happen in case of the robotic surgery right so normally in the um, operation theater if a surgeon if any surgeon comes for uh, any uh, surgery then sometimes uh, uh, it is very difficult to handle the complex operation okay so by using the robotic surgery what it uh, what it will do it can um, perform the complex operation which cannot be possible by the normal physician or doctor okay and another thing is that um, suppose uh, during the surgery any uh, complex of uh, thing is there or any, any complex operation is there so the this thing can be identified by, by the robotic surgery and the uh, sorry robotic IoT device and uh, this uh, device also can give the proper directions how the uh, operation will be proceed this information can be provided to the uh, surgery okay so here normally what it will do it can you uh, can make a device okay which can be placed inside the human okay this is IoT device okay that will be placed inside human IoT robotic okay so normally the physician or doctor will not perform any tasks the, the uh, complex tasks will be performed by this uh, iot robotic okay and another thing is that can direct the proper direction decision proper decision so you can place a robotic iot robotic inside the human during the surgery and it can perform the complex operation and any uh, complex operation is there so how the operation will be proceed so the it can also provide the direction um, proper decision okay proper decision how the operation will be proceed so it is the intermixing of the uh, human human and and the robotic also okay both are performing the operation but if any complex operation is there it totally performed by the robotic okay and it will also give the proper direction in this way the robotic surgery can provide uh, can uh, provide the human for IoT applications okay next is the Uh, next come to the wireless uh, sensor okay so we can place uh, this wireless sensor okay and the refrigerator maybe this wireless sensor in refrigerator where normally how how many uh, biomedical uh, materials are there biomedical materials and blood sample biomedical materials blood sample and medication suppose these three things are 
दिस थिंग शुड बी केप्ट एट अ लो टेम्परेचर ओके सो लो टेम्परेचर शुड बी मेन्टेन फॉर दिस मेटेरियल ओके बायोमेडिकल मेटेरियल ब्लड सैम्पल एंड मेडिकेशन सो दिस वेदर दिस आर अंडर द लो टेम्परेचर और नॉट दिस थिंग कैन बी डिटेक्टेड बाय दैट वायरलेस सेंसर ओके वी कैन पुट अ वायरलेस सेंसर इन इन सेट द रिप्रेजेंटेड वायर वी यूज टू प्लेस द बायोमेडिकल मेटेरियल बाय ब्लड सैम्पल एंड मेडिकेशन सो दिस थिंग आर proper uh, temperature or not this uh, information can be detected by the wireless sensor we can put this sensor on, in laboratory also if we get a laboratory we can put such kind of the wireless sensor for measuring the temperature of particular uh, materials okay so next come to the so what are the research are going uh, are going on related to this uh, iit healthcare this i am discussing अपकमिंग लेक्चर ओके नेक्स्ट इज द मेडिकल अलर्ट सिस्टम मेडिकल अलर्ट सिस्टम सो सच कैन टू डिवेज इज लाइक ए ऑर्नामेंट्स और ज्वेलरी ओके यू कैन पुट ए मेडिकल अलर्ट सिस्टम मेडिकल अलर्ट सिस्टम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ in the form of ornaments okay in um, like a bracelet okay this will be a uh, place to the human like a bracelet okay medical alert system uh, what is the function of this medical alert system uh, normally this it, um, it will detect the it will give the alert message how is uh, detect the alert message okay the output of this uh, bracelet will be the alert message okay to mobile phone okay the bracelet i used to put in the screen okay the screen of the human and that will give the alert message to the mobile phone what can do the alert message it will give uh, suppose if i am giving a one example uh, okay suppose one person fall down from the bed okay and uh, she he or she cannot do anything right so but um, uh, the she can put a bracelet uh, this medical alert system uh, iot device okay so by using those iot device the iot device will give the information the alert information to the other person which can help to that person okay so the in this way the medical alert system can help uh, for a human okay so then again i am repeating the bracelet which is a uh, uh, one of the medical alert system okay this bracelet is um, placed okay anyhow like uh, on the screen of the human and uh, when the person in in an emergency okay that time this will give the information to mobile phone which is used by the other person okay in this way medical alert system can help right last is the uh, location sensor location service sensor okay location service sensor uh, that means location service sensor this topic i have already discussed uh, that means that is also used in the hospital in different different location okay sensor 1 uh, sensor 2 like this way okay sensor 3 sensor 4 uh, right so in uh, this sensor can be detected different different item whatever items are available in our hospital okay different uh, suppose uh, hospital bed uh, cylinder oxygen pump oxygen cylinder and different kind of the equipments normally in hospital you can see some uh, equipments are misplaced okay so by using the different sensors are connected in different different location so it is very uh, easy to detect those kind of the device by 
organizing diabetes center hospital staff uh, if different items are um, misplaced uh, so for hospital staff it is very difficult to identify where uh, what is the exact location of the particular oxygen pump or how many oxygen, oxygen pumps are, are available this information can be detected by the location service sensor the this kind of the sensors are placed in different location so by using the microphone camera uh, the hospital staff can easily track those kinds of uh, those kinds of the items so uh, which are misplaced right so in this way location service sensors are uh, useful right so now uh, so how many devices we can make right different kind of the devices we can make which are uh, useful in healthcare application how many devices you can make right so today uh, whatever the device i have discussed the location service sensor wireless sensor uh, uh, trackable in lr okay medical lr system so this kind of uh, so robotic surgery right so this kind of the system uh, iot enabled device if we make so it, it will be very helpful for healthcare right so uh, already lots of research is going on related to these things so in upcoming lecture i'll try to discuss what are the research are, are going on related to healthcare okay so uh, thank you and please like uh, share and subscribe my channel